Nearly four years after a landmark ruling that said our state was failing to help all students learn, the people who filed the Yazzie Martinez lawsuit are still concerned about the state's response. The lawsuit focused on Native Americans, English language learners, students with disabilities, and economically disadvantaged children. Together, those groups make up a stunning 70% of all students. The state now has new plans to meet the demands of that court ruling, and Tommy Lopez has reaction ahead of the public comment deadline next week. Wilhelmina Yazi feels the anger just as intensely as she did nearly a decade ago when she began a journey to be a champion for equity in education. Very frustrating, and it's just not just for me, but for all the families. The only thing I can say is that we're not going to stop fighting. She is the Yazi in the Martinez Yazi lawsuit. We have accepted such a substandard education system for our children and especially for our, our indigenous children. Her family's experiences since a judge's decision in 2018 have led her to a grim conclusion. We haven't seen a, a lot of the changes that we are wanting for our children. She believes education leaders are not doing enough to find solutions. Go down to deep down into the communities to really find out holistically of what our children need. From what you were describing, there is still a long way to go. Yeah, it is. And there's a long list of more things. Lack of teachers, textbooks, technology, transportation, tutoring, culturally sensitive curriculum, and getting kids ready for their careers. This is a draft of the state's plan. It highlights what it sees as successes, among them new programs with more funding, including for pre-K, equity councils, and teacher raises. It also lays out goals for the next five years, boosting the graduation rate from the mid-70s to 90%, improving reading and math test scores, and lowering class sizes. PED officials themselves have said there's still a lot of work to do, though the department declined an interview for our story, citing an ongoing lawsuit. Dr. Veronica Garcia is a former superintendent and former education secretary. Do you feel like New Mexico is on the right trajectory right now? I, I feel that we are on the right path. I really do. She was involved early on in forming the state's new plans. The capacity, right, for school districts to implement everything, they, you know, they can't necessarily ramp up that quickly. But for many, waiting is difficult. The need is still there, it's still great. We're not moving fast enough. Melissa Candelaria represents plaintiffs and works for the New Mexico Center on Law and Poverty. It's um, important that the state fix the broken education system immediately. We just can't wait. I mean, it's taken nearly four years for this draft to come out. Is four years too long? Four years has been too long. And what the court required, as I mentioned earlier, is immediate steps. It's more important than ever. There are sworn interviews going on right now in this case, and anyone can comment on the PED's plans. We have more on that right now at KOB.com. The deadline is Friday of next week. I'm Tommy Lopez, KOB4.